Well, you've probably seen the reports of the last week that the ending to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows may have been obtained by someone hacking into the UK publisher's computers. Well, we've been given some video from the US publisher showing the actual books hot off the press. Here they are. You are seeing the very first copies there of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows being printed. They'll be packaged and locked away for safekeeping until July 21st, so hopefully the ending is still pretty much in safekeeping. Yeah, and as we've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and we'll continue to do each week up to the release, we've asked a mystery question on each specific Harry Potter book. Last week, Whoopi Goldberg asked the mystery question. This week, we are on to book three in the series. Our question comes from one of the very few people who actually read the final book already and knows how the <laughs> series ends. So, here is your third Harry Potter Today's Mystery Question. Hi, I'm Arthur Levine, co-editor of the Harry Potter books, and here is your third question. In The Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry chooses to spare a certain traitor's life. Afterward, Dumbledore tells him, when one wizard saves another wizard's life, it creates a certain bond between them. The time may come when you will be very glad you saved the traitor's life. What role might this character and his life debt play? in the seventh book. Hmm. We're going to have to think about that one a little bit longer. I, I see a lot you of think about it at home. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of 12-year-olds out in the plaza <laughs> exactly. who will probably be dying to know. You know, last week we showed you all some adorable Harry Potter look-alikes, and here's some more. So keep those pictures <laughs> coming. If you know the answer to our latest question or if you have your own theories, go to our website and post it at todayshow.com.